you know, you can go on endlessly in, in terms of conversations because there are so many lessons. Every line she said, there is a lesson to be learned. Just like there is a lesson to be learned from the man who said, who was told that he's just got two weeks and that was what, 20 years ago? 2004. So it'll be 20 years in 2024. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be a parent and leukemia hits you and here you are, Anurag Basu, tell us your story. Yeah, in, uh, in a typical Bollywood screenplay, when everything is going right for the main protagonist, you know, there is a twist in the tale waiting for him. He, he will and he will relate and she will relate. Abhi dukho ka pahar phootega uske par. Afir phootta hai. So, same thing happened. My film was hit. I was signed, uh, super hit, and I was signed by many producers. My, my wife was pregnant, and then this happened. And, uh, yeah, so I was being treated in a hospital where the doctor said uh, two weeks. Uh, because I don't blame them because the line of treatment they were, uh, you know, I was going through is not working on my body. And I was deteriorating every day. Then uh, I got shifted to Tata Hospital. And uh, so it was, uh, I remember when I was shifted to Tata Hospital uh, and um, mm, I was actually bleeding buckets of blood that time. Every internal organ were... Uh, um, bleeding inside and when I thought I would die in an ambulance when I was shifted to Tata Hospital, I was so bad. And immediately after Tata Hospital, I reached there, I was taken to ventilator. I was inside the ventilator for <coughs> three weeks actually, in fact. So uh, it's nice if you talk about willpower and miracle, I'm here, but actually it's my uh, oncologist, my doctor, because I was senseless. I was in my ventilator. I didn't know what was happening with me. And my family was suffering. My caregiver, my family, my wife, my uh, mother, my father. I was senseless. So I think uh, we all have different paths, uh, different ways to recover. We all are But bottom line is, um, the decades of research done by scientists and the doctors, uh, they have made the recovery easier. And uh, and I've personally seen my doctors, uh, uh, Dr. Banavli, Dr. Badwe and his team there. Yes. They are amazing people. I've seen them. You know, the day in an oncologist's life is much longer than ours. I'm, I believe I'm a workaholic, but they're work fanatic. They, they are amazing. And uh, it takes, you know, a lot of courage. You know, this, I think... Uh, and it's very important for any treatment to have that trust with your doctor. Yeah. And yeah, that was it. And uh, uh, so yeah, first after the, uh, the whole, uh, when I came back to the ICU, the first hurdle was over. I was out of ventilator. Yeah, then there was a small, small fight. The first thing I really wanted, you know, I was not sure how long I'm going to leave because my body was saying I'm not well. So I made small target. The first target I made, I want to see my baby's face. Yeah. That's the first thing I told myself, you know, that kept me moving, actually. I just really wanted to. So, uh, that's how I just... <laughs> so, two weeks became two months, two months became two years, and yes, now absolutely. it's going to be 20. All thanks to my doctors and the team, amazing, dedicated team of Tata Hospital. I would not take any credit because... Uh, Did you change anything? Kuch badla apne after that? Did you change anything in your lifestyle, in your approach to life? Lifestyle was a lot of I sorry. But yes, I mean, you know, outlook towards life got changed completely. Uh -huh. I see life differently now. My movies got changed. The story I tell got changed. Apne ho gaya se. You know, it was effortlessly and... Uh, yeah, actually, you know what, it never... I, uh, I embraced cancer very soon. I never questioned, I didn't have that syndrome of why me, why now? That never singed in actually. That really helped me to recover faster. Yeah.